You're watching Two Button Crew. The Daily Show for Nintendo fans. They copied our logo. You know what? Yeah, they did. How dare Nintendo. But you know what? Sometimes Nintendo... That's that's just a perfect example of Nintendo listening to us. Yeah. They 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 watch our show and they say, you know what? That logo is so great. We're going to make a controller. And then go back in time and use it. But let's expand it a little to times when Nintendo... Listen to Nintendo fans yes. in general. Not just the two of us. Not all Nintendo fans reside on this channel, That's although true. they should. Yeah, they should. Um, Bring your friends. Yeah. There's always room for more people around, around the, the coffee table. Yes. Digitally. This is a, yeah, it's not a coffee table. Anyway. Card table. Um, coffee would be more meta. Yes, yes it would. So let's talk about some times that Nintendo listen to fans because they get a lot of flack for not listening to their fans. Yes. And they've deserved it, but they're coming around. Yes. More. More. More as time goes on. And they, there are so many times where Nintendo, they try to be hip, they try to be cool, but they just don't know what the cool kids like. They right. They just don't. But sometimes, sometimes they do, and we're here to talk about them. So here's a pretty recent one to start it out. Go for it. With Super Mario Maker. Absolutely. Um, we didn't know if this game was going to have support. Like, some games come out like Splatoon, where Nintendo says, we will be adding things, you know, frequently, regular basis, and all that. With Mario Maker, we didn't know. We didn't know no if it clue. was going to be the same exact package for everybody who picked it up. And, you know, with a toolkit like that... Um, Kind of makes sense, but in order to get the most out of Mario Maker, you really have to be connected to the internet, so um, it wasn't a big issue no. updating it for people. You know, most people are going to have the newest version, mm -hmm. and uh, the Mario Maker checkpoints were huge. That Genius. was like something that um, the game really got docked for on yeah. reviews. Not like it got bad reviews because of it, but... Uh, that was the one thing missing that everybody yeah, kind of noticed. It didn't get 10s, or in a few cases 9s, because it didn't have uh, checkpoints and levels. It really needed that. Because if you're going to make really challenging, hard, or long levels, it's nice to not have to start it completely over sometimes. Absolutely. And then also, um, being able to bookmark... Uh, Levels where you can do this online or on your Wii U, come mm -hmm. back to them later, that's a great way. Because sometimes I don't want to like a level mm -hmm. and come back to it because I want to play it later and yeah. find out if I like it. Yeah. So bookmark's good, and uh, the website's really nice. I've got the bookmark site bookmarked on my phone. So Look at that. I can be sitting on the pot, <laughs> dreaming about what levels I'm Booking some bookmarks. That's right. While I'm uh, marking some books. <laughs> <laughs> is that a new euphemism for pooping? Yeah, you know, like toilet paper is kind of paper. Yeah, like I, a book. I, I was th I was thinking that marking. We're Mark. not going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> what uh, in the by world? all means, change the subject. Oh, okay, so, so Splatoon. Uh, for the longest time, we're like make a new IP. Yeah, make a new IP. Why why don't you have a new IP? <laughs> why is it all old stuff? We don't want your old. Right. Now that's all we want. Nintendo makes the same games all the time. Which, I would argue that Nintendo games are kind of more like their own genres. Like Zelda is a genre for Nintendo, kind of. Yeah, like Mario's basically. Kind of but anyway. Anything that's even close to it, they just say, oh, let's just name it this. Yeah. Let's just name it Mario so that we can... Right. Yeah. But uh, we got what we wanted. And we didn't get Project Hammer, but we got... Splatoon, right. which was something that I think they did hype up ahead of time. Yeah. And when I saw it for the first time, I was kind of like, eh, this doesn't really look like the quality of Nintendo games. But really, I mean, I mean, it's an exciting game. It's something completely new, something that is very Nintendo, and yeah. everybody's happy about it. So good on you, Nintendo, for listening to fans mm -hmm. and making a new IP that's fantastic. Yeah. Making Nintendo accounts another big one. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, Club Nintendo's been gone a long time without their replacement, so I hope they get it up soon. A year. Wow. Well, a year in June, kind of. That's Something. More like half a year, I mean. Yeah. But no, but they kind of... It didn't was they last stop, year. Whoa. Didn't they stop receiving mm. points in January? Mm. I can't remember. 
It's I been gone you. a long time. It's been phasing out for a long time. That's true. There was a period of just being able to spend them. Mm -hmm. um, but Nintendo Count is shaping up to be a very, mm, very big answer to what fans have been asking yes. for as far as how everything will be linked. You know, we don't know much about it, but that it'll all be linked. One account. Yes. Uno accounto. Yes. Something that I just now thought of that we didn't put on our list, but I can insert here, is yeah. the uh, theme park. Making a Nintendo theme park. That's, yeah, that's something that people have been wanting for a long time. It's been asked for. for and sure. we, it's not like people were banging down Nintendo's doors like they were, they are with Mother 3 or whatever. Yeah. But it's like everyone's like thought at some point, wouldn't it be cool mm -hmm. if Nintendo had a theme park? Everybody's thought that. Anybody who's heard of Nintendo has thought of that. And so, thank you, Nintendo, for finally, sometime in the future, soon, making our dreams come true. And we don't talk about it much, but um, something that a lot of people might not have seen on our channel, because it was like our second or third video or something, yes. was what we yeah. wanted in the theme park. So we had some good ideas, if you'd like to go watch those. <laughs> That's where our, the, that banner that, I don't know if we still have it, but with me going like this, it's from that video. What ride could that be? <laughs> oh my um, goodness. How about remaking Majora's Mask? Yes. So requested. Mm -hmm. um, the Ocarina of Time 3D remake was done with the help of Grezzo, uh, the studio that helped Nintendo with that. And they were like, well, the next obvious step is Majora's Mask. And sometimes Nintendo doesn't take those obvious steps no. like we mentioned. We, we just talked about that. But uh, this time they did. And... The fans were like almost getting to the point of thinking that they had to petition and start. It was going to be Operation Moonfall, uh, but Nintendo was just like, "No, look, it's already coming." So. And they're like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so excited, so good on you, Nintendo." Yeah. Um, the Smash Ballot. Mm. They literally listened to fans, I guess. Europe. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Not the US the too. It's yeah, not the band. <laughs> uh, we yeah. Can we can we talk about that or should we not talk about that? No. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Okay. Yeah, the continent. Um uh, not the band Europe. Um but Nintendo literally just pulled the fans in. Who do you guys want to smash brothers? Something yeah. that I think um we've been wanting for a long time and we got it and we they came out with the character that was number one realizable. Yeah. Yeah. Worldwide. And so they listened to us. And even though it was just one character, I think we have to be thankful. I wish it would have been more than one character. Mm -hmm. I wish they might have, you know, put a few guidelines of things that aren't realizable. But, yeah. But, uh, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next time. I've already got like stinking 58 characters. Seriously. My goodness. They need to cut down the number of characters for the next game. You know. Which is going to be crazy. You could definitely consolidate more like Martha and Lucina and yeah. Dr. Mario and Mario. Maybe even Fox and Falco. That'd be people, a little sad. But People are going to be angry, but it needs yeah. to be done. It needs to be done. There's also Project Rainfall, which was a big fan initiative to get Nintendo to localize three big RPGs. It was um, Xenoblade, Pandora's Tower, and The Final Story. La the Last Story. Yes. Not The Final <laughs> Fantasy. The Last Story. <laughs> yes. Um, and fans asked for these in America so much. We wouldn't have to go through all this if things weren't mm. region locked, but no. we do. So uh, the fans just did a really great job on this. They really came together. They flooded Nintendo's headquarters in Redmond with letters like every day. Um, Project Rainfall sold like this nice case with enough room for three Wii discs in it. And it said Operation Rainfall in it. And they did it in faith that there would be the games in the cases to wow. insert into it. So I was really happy for them, even though those games aren't my cup of mug of water. Um, <laughs> they got them, so. Yes, I I still have yet to play these games, but I really do want to play these games. They're probably not expensive, especially Pandora's Tower and uh, I don't know Last because Story. some of them are like GameStop exclusive. They might be a limited run as like uh, Metro Prime Trilogy was and stuff. So I don't know how expensive they are. I'm gonna have to give them a shot because I know they're good. I think there might be one. Some of them are on Wii Virtual Console, I believe. Oh. But anyway, 
What you got for us last? Uh, the GameCube controller adapter. I think this is the biggest one. I think this is the biggest one, but this one also makes me the most sad. Why? Because I knew, like, when they announced the new Smash Brothers game, or actually, sorry, when the Wii U released, yes. I knew that there were no GameCube controller I knew that as well. And so... What did I do? I'm like, I'm going to get ahead of everybody yes. and start pla practicing with a classic controller. And I did that after the the Wii U's release. I only played with a classic controller. Brawl, I, you're saying. Yeah, Brawl. That's Brawl. Only played with a classic controller knowing that I'd never be able to, be, to use the GameCube controller yeah. on the Wii U. And so... When they announced that's why you're the... so bad at Smash. Yo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I did that too. Ow! Because I thought there's no way they'll yeah. make it happen. But it can't happen. Yeah, it can't happen. You look at that thing and you're like, how are they going to do this? No. But they did, and they announced this GameCube controller adapter, and everybody went insane. I did. I was like, Nintendo knows me yeah i know to to me this is a thing where i would look at and say nintendo won't do this because they're like oh just deal with it yeah it's i mean use the wii wii u controller it's built for the wii u game <laughs> and you're <laughs> i'm reggie i love you reggie we we already talked about yeah. nintendo things we love and reggie was on the list not that that was a very that was meant to be reggie or anything <laughs> but anyway <laughs> it was completely unexpected and yeah. we got it and it was it's great it was a great idea the one the one gripe about it and we're, we're these are things that we're thankful for obviously the one the one gripe i have about it is that it's thankful. only for smash brothers and it won't yeah. it's not compatible with other games that you think it'd be yeah the gamecube games yeah. or not not the gamecube games the wii games that would use the gamecube controller it doesn't work for them. But maybe someday in the future, we'll have games that we can use the adapter for. Yeah, so... Maybe that's too much to ask. Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> comment below when you have ever felt that Nintendo listened to you specifically. Yes. And thank you for watching. Thanks for being part of the crew. Don't forget to like, to comment, to subscribe, to share with your friends, and to buy these shirts that are so cool. They're awesome. Sweatshirts, tank tops. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a tank top. Everybody needs a tank top. See you next time. <laughs> yeah, especially in the winter. <laughs> Signing out.